scientists accidentally stumbled upon a potential new treatment for hereditary pattern baldness, the most common cause for hair loss in both men and women worldwide. It all started with the research on a sugar that naturally occurs in the body and helps form DNA, the deoxyribose part of the deoxyribonucleic acid. While studying how these sugars heal the wounds of mice when applied topically, scientists at the University of Sheffield and Comsats University in Pakistan noticed that the fur around the lesions was growing back faster than in untreated mice. Intrigued, the team decided to investigate further. They took male mice with testosterone-driven hair loss and removed the fur from their backs. Each day, researchers smeared a small dose of deoxyribose sugar gel on the exposed skin, and within weeks, the fur in this region showed robust regrowth, sprouting long, thick individual hairs. The deoxyribose gel was so effective, researchers found it worked just as well as minoxylid, a topical treatment for hair loss commonly known by the brand name Rogaine. They said, our research suggests that the answer to treating hair loss might be as simple as using a naturally occurring deoxyribose sugar to boost the blood supply to the hair follicles to encourage hair growth, says tissue engineer Sheila McNeil from University of Sheffield. Hereditary pattern baldness or androgenetic alopecia is a natural condition caused by genetics, hormone levels and aging, and it, pre it presents differently in males and females. The disorder impacts up to 40% of the population, and yet the US Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has only approved two drugs to treat the condition thus far. While over-the-counter monoxylid can work to slow hair loss and promote some regrowth, it does not work for these those ex experiencing hair loss. If minoxylid is not effective, then male patients can turn to finasteride brand name Propecia, a prescribed oral drug that keeps testosterone flowing throughout the body, and it's not yet approved for female patients, of course. Finasteride can slow hair loss in about 80 to 90 percent of male patients, but it needs to be taken continuously once it's started. The drug can be associated with unwanted, sometimes severe side effects, such as erectile dysfunction, testicular or breast pain, reduced libido, and even depression. The treatment of androgenetic alopecia remains challenging, McNeil and her colleagues, led by biomaterial researcher Mohamed Anjoun from Sats, write in their published paper. Together, the team designed a biodegradable non-toxic gel made from dioxyribose and applied the treatment to mouse models of male pattern baldness, Monoxylid was also tested on bald mouse models, and some of the animals received a dose of both sugar gel and monoxylid for good measure. Compared to mice that received the gel without any medicine, those that received the gel with dioxyribose sugar began sprouting new hair follicles. Both monoxylid and the sugar gel prom promoted 80 to 90 percent of hair growth in mice with male pattern baldness. Combined the treatments, however, combining the treatments did not make much of a difference at all. Photographs were taken at various stages throughout the 20-day trial, and the effect is clear, as you can see in the article. Researchers are not sure why the dioxyribose gel stimulates longer and thicker hair growth in mice, but around the treated site, the team did notice an increase in blood vessels and skin cells. The better the blood supply to the hair bulb, the larger its diameter and the more hair growth, explained the researchers. If the dioxyribose gel also provides effective, uh, proves effective in humans, it could be used to treat alopecia or even stimulate hair, lash and eyebrow regrowth following, for example, chemotherapy. This is a, ba a, bald, uh, 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 this is a badly under-researched area, and hence new approaches are needed, argue the authors. The current experiments were only conducted on male mice, but further research might find the use of these natural sugars could also work on female mice experiencing testosterone-driven alopecia too. The research we've done is very much in early stages, admits McNeil, but the results are promising and warrant further investigation. The study was published in Frontiers in Pharmacology, and it's by Carly Casella on Science Alert. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.
highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.